Hi students, welcome to the computer class. Hope you all are fine and safe at home. Uh, this is our video number second. Uh, the chapter name, Discipline of Computing. So we already discussed the evolution of positional number system in the previous video. Hope you completed your notes. In this section, we are continuing the topic, uh, evolution. So we already uh, studied the different number system. Uh, number systems were from Egyptian to Hindu Arabic number system. So after the positional number system, next one is if number system is available, the next one we require a machine for performing operations on numbers. Okay, so if the numbers are available, then definitely it will lead to operations, number operation, arithmetic operations. So in this section, we are going to start a new topic called evolution of computing machines so our topic is evolution of computing machines evolution of computing machine means uh, we are going to discuss the journey of different machines journey means from abacus to supercomputers or abacus to modern computer abacus means actually abacus actually abacus is not a computer it is used for counting purpose. That means uh, smaller children are using a backers for uh, identifying the numbers and also to learn addition and subtraction and all. Okay. So what is the connection with a backers to computer? So that we are going to discuss first. Before that, evolution of computing machines. Evolution of computing machine. Means nowadays all are using computer. In a, uh, if suppose we went to any shop or anywhere, everywhere we are, they are using computers. So without a computer, any work is not possible in nowadays. In no, any work is not possible without any computer. So everywhere we are using computers. So what is the connection with modern computer with Abacus? Or what is the connection with these two machines? Is they are machines? Okay, all that we are going to discuss in this section. Evolution of computing machine means actually in this section, actually in this chapter, we are going to deal with different concepts. First one, positional number system. Evolution of positional number system. After that, we are going to discuss evolution of computing machines. Different machines we are going to discuss. Machines means, uh, the, uh, that means that that kind of machine that play a major role in the generation or in the development of modern computer. So many machines are there. The, all that machines we are not going to discuss. Some special machines that play a major role that can be say that predecessor of modern computer. So that kinds of machines we are going to discuss in this section. After that, we will discuss different types of, if machines are available, then definitely we will deal with programming languages. That programming language we will discuss. After that, generations of computers. Different generations of computer and last section is relating to Turing machine. Okay, all these we are going to discuss in this section. Evolution of computing machine. So we will start with evolution of computing machine. In this section, I already mentioned, we are going to discuss the journey of Abacus to modern computer. So we will start with Abacus. If numbers are available or uh, Hindu Arabic number system, I already mentioned Hindu Arabic number system is the most efficient number system. So using Hindu Arabic number system, we can represent numbers. Base 9, uh, base 10 number system, 0 is represented. So, you using that number system, we can represent numbers. Large number, 2 digit number, 3 digit number, 4 digit number, any kind of numbers we can represent using Hindu Arabic number system. So, if we, we can represent numbers, then definitely you can perform some kinds of operation with this numbers. So, that we are going to discuss next. Abacus, actually Abacus is also known as a calculating tool. Okay, Abacus is known as calculating tool. The name, the word Abacus means calculation or it used as for, used for calculating purpose. Then Abacus contains different beads. Okay, each road contains seven beads. Seven beads means a horizontal uh, divider uh, is uh, used for separating beads. Top two beads, bottom two. 5 beads. The next one, Abacus is work based on the place value system. Based on place value system. So at the topmost 2 beads are available. Each beads represent number 5. For a place value is 5 and the bottom beads place value is 1. 
Okay, then one more point is a uh, abacus is also known as the first computer for basic arithmetic operations. Okay, abacus is known as the first computer for performing basic arithmetic operations. Okay, so with the help of a picture, I will explain the structure of abacus. Please look at the picture. Abacus. Actually, abacus is also called a counting frame, a calculating tool for performing arithmetic operations. Then, an arithmetic or an abacus contains a horizontal divider separates the top two beads from the bottom five. All of you look, top two beads and bottom how many beads? Five. Addition and multiplication of numbers was done using the place value of digit and position of beads in an abacus. Okay, so how we are representing multiplication with the help of beads, we are using or we are performing multiplication and also uh, addition. The abacus works on the basis of place value system. I already mentioned abacus work based on the place value system. Reading is it almost like reading a written numeral. Each of the five beads below the bar has the place value of 1 and each of the beads at the top represent bead value of 5. The beads which are pushed against the bar. Okay, suppose you want to represent any number, the beads that you want to push against the bar representing the number. The number on abacus, the number of abacus is represented with the help of beads. Suppose you want to represent beads, then what you want to do? You want to push that beads against the bar. Okay, if you move the bar or push the bar against that horizontal horizontal uh, divider, horizontal divider or that horizontal bar, then according to the beads, we can identify the numbers. Okay, so this is uh, regarding abacus. So what is meant by abacus? Abacus is a calculating machine. It contains different roads. That roads contain different beads. Beads uses for uh, representing the number. Beads are working according to the position of value. Then it also contains a horizontal divider for separating the beads. The top beads contain place value 5 and the bottom level beads contain place value 1. Okay, clear? So this is abacus and it also known as the first computer for performing basic arithmetic calculation. Abacus is also known as Abacus is also known as the first computer for performing basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction. Basic arithmetic operation means addition, subtraction, multiplication. These all are basic arithmetic operation. So, performing this we are using abacus. Okay. Then, next one we are going to discuss how we are representing numbers using abacus. Okay. I will show one example. That means, suppose we are going to represent addition. 54 plus 60, uh, 54 plus 46. What will be the value 54 plus 46? 100, definitely 100. So in your textbook, uh, there is one uh, picture operation, uh, uh, abacus operation picture is available. How we are performing addition using abacus. The first number is 54 and the second number is 46 and what will be the result? 100. So, with the help of example, I am going to explain this. Suppose we want to perform addition. First, we want to represent 54 using a backus. Okay, 54 using a backus. Then after that, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 4. Then definitely 100 will come. So, how we will represent 100? To represent 0, you no need to push any of the number up. Okay, you no need to push any of the bins. Second, 0. For representing this 2, 0, you don't want to push any of the number. Then, last number 1. You want to push the bottom bead uh, against the bar. That means only one bead is required as the third. That means we are uh, writing from uh, left to right now. So, the last two beads represent 0 and the next one represent 1. So, I am going to explain this with the help of a picture. Please look at the picture. First one. Okay, for representing 54, from the last row, how many beads are pushed against the bar? 4 beads. Because each bead having the place value 1. So, that first row represents 4. The next one, you no need to shift the entire 5 beads up. Because uh, in top already 1 bead we can use for representing 5. Is it correct? 54? Yes. 
there next one uh, you don't want to repre represent 646 separately okay we are using that same roads for applying this okay so now at the th last uh, bead uh, last road how many beads are present four so we are going to uh, add four plus six so how we will represent six the top bead one one more bead is present no one more bead that bead you want to represent plus last bead from the bottom so it will represent six uh, five plus six okay 4 plus 6. What will be the value? What will be the result when we perform 4 plus 6? The result will be 10. So, which number you want to represent? 1 or 0? 0. 0. So, when we are representing 0, the carry 1 is shifting to left side. Carry 1 is shifting to left side. So, in left side, what we are adding first? 5 plus 4. So, for representing 5, we are uh, pushing the top bead against the bar and are and also we are uh, moving four four to uh, last uh, bottom four beads against we are pushing against the bar so then also we will get five plus four we will get nine but one carry is left to you know that carry also will come then automatically nine plus one it will turns to ten so again one more carry left so if it is ten then we will not represent the entire value ten we will only represent 0. So, 0 means you don't want to shift any of the value that carry is moving to left. Please look at the third picture. In that third picture, by shift carry to the left and adding we get 100. Adding we get 100 means the last two roads. Is there any number present? No. In the next value, that means uh, in the third section, uh, only one bead is shifted against the divider. Okay, so that means it represents 100. Okay, you no need to bother about this operations. I just shown uh, the working of abacus. From this abacus section, no, one question will come. One word question can come. The question will be dash is known as the first computer for performing basic arithmetic operation. What is the answer? Abacus. Then abacus is also known as calculating tool calculating tool and uh, one word question will come then one more question can come one picture is given you want to identify the number which number is represented i already shown how we are representing 54 like that any picture will come that you want to predict the number that we are uh, that is representing using a backus okay that kind of question will come for your examination so actually this is uh, a theory section or theory chapter so, from this uh, chapter, I think 5 or 6 mark will come. 5 or 6 means definitely one 3 mark question will be there. Then one word question. Basically, one word questions are coming from this chapter. So, you don't need to bother about the working, how you want to study the working or you want to buy hard this. You don't need to buy hard all this. You want to learn what does mean by abacus and how the structure represents, how we are representing numbers using abacus. That is enough. Okay, you no need to bother about this abacus addition and all. I this is represented in your uh, that is it is in your textbook. That why I am explaining this. Okay, then uh, with the help of a video, I am going to explain the working of abacus. I think it is familiar. Then also I am adding one video uh, that will explain the working of abacus. Okay, so hope you understood the term abacus. Uh, it is also known as uh, the first computer for performing basic arithmetic calculation. Then I am going to uh, include one video that will explain the working of Abacus. Uh, please uh, read your textbook. Uh, read your textbook means you don't have a textbook. But I will send the soft copy. Soft copy means uh, the important points will be there that I will send. Then using that uh, soft copy you can read no. So that I will send. Uh, so please be regular in your studies. Please uh, watch the video seriously. Uh, complete your notes as soon as possible. After watching the video, please complete your notes. Okay. So please watch. Please watch the video uh, that will explains uh, the working of abacus. How to count on an abacus. The abacus is an ancient calculating tool. Simple rules for counting on an abacus are described here. You will need an abacus and a flat surface. 
Step 1. Place the abacus on a flat surface with the upper section away from you. Push all the beads in the upper and lower sections away from the central crossbar. The Chinese abacus has 13 columns of counting beads divided into an upper and lower section by a horizontal crossbeam. Each column of the upper section contains two beads, and each column in the lower section, five beads. Step 2. Move the corresponding number of beads on the rightmost lower deck column toward the central crossbeam to count from 1 to 5. Each bead in the rightmost upper deck column has a value of 5. Step 3. Set the 5 bead above the crossbeam in the same column when you have 5 beads in the lower section and need to add one more. Then, clear 5 beads in the lower section. Step 4. Set a second 5 bead in the same column when you have 5 more beads set in the lower section and need to add one more. The two beads in the upper section correspond to the number 10. Clear the 5 beads in the lower section. Step 5. Continue counting in the same manner using columns to the left to represent numbers of increasing value. From right to left, the first vertical column represents units, the next represents tens, then hundreds, and so on. Did you know? In 1946, a Japanese abacist outperformed an electric calculating machine using a Japanese-style abacus.